Hello friends, myself Rakesh. I welcome you to Expo Hub Automation Wall Channel. Today I have picked up the topic, the call stack panel, right? So on my background, you can see this is the call stack panel in UiPath. So do you know how to use it or when, what is the use of this call stack panel, right? And, and what, what is the understanding that you have about call stack panel? So this video is going to help you. Before that, let me introduce to our channel. So this is our channel where we have 200 plus video as of now. So please do subscribe to our channel and you will almost get all the contents that you would like to learn on UiPath. Almost on all different contents we have created the videos which is going to really guide you and help you in your UiPath journey. So with that, let's get started. So please do subscribe. So now I was talking about call stack panel. Right. So on the background, you see there's a call stack panel which is enabled. But what is it when it comes? What is the use of it is something we are going to learn. OK, so let me stop this. Let me stop the project. And to understand call stack, I would like you to create a simple project uh, along with me. Right. Just create a small workflow and then we will talk about call stack and understand what is call stack. So first thing, let's drag and drop the assign activity. Okay, and now in the assign activity, let's create a variable called num array. It's an array variable I'm creating. Okay, so let's go to the variable panel and here let me quickly select array of integer. Done. So the variable is created, the array variable is created. Now let's add some values to it. So I'll use curly braces and here I'm going to say 10, comma 20, comma 30, comma 40 comma 50 okay so five different numbers i have added into the array done now let's use one more assign activity and let me create a variable control plus k and i will say num variable okay second variable i have created called num variable and here i wanted to give a value let's say 10 i want to store 10 and go to the variable panel the same way ensure the variable type is integer done okay after that to understand call stack i would like you to drag and drop the sequence drag and drop a sequence within the sequence okay now within that sequence use a assign activity and here what i'm going to say i will say num variable okay is equals to num variable right num variable and then I want to say plus and here I have an array right num array I'll use a moon bracket and I want the new num variable value which is 10 plus in the array in the second index whatever number is there that should get added okay that should get added and the value should finally come to num variable so in the second index of the array so that means 0 where you have 10 1 where you have 20 and the second index is 30 which is holding the value 30 so 30 plus 10 your output should be 40 so let me drag and drop a message box and here let me say num variable dot to string okay so if i simply run this project let me simply run it so if i run it what is my output the output should show me 40 all right so now you can see the entire execution has completed but i have any so you have to click on the call stack so if you are running it if you have not clicked this pause your project and then click on call stack and watch this window watch this panel so now it's completely blank it has completely executed but the call stack is not showing any data isn't it but it's showing the execution has happened the output is showing 40 which is correct now let's understand call stack so point number one you should remember the call stack will be displayed only during your debugging process and when your debugging is paused so remember when you will see when your debugging is paused only that time you will see call stack so how you can pause your debugging through various means for example if you enable slow step if you enable slow step also you can see or let's say you are using a step into you can see if you are using a break 
point you can see or if you are manually pausing it so anyways if you are pausing it you will be able to see the call stack so let's see that what i am going to do i am going to enable slow step okay ensure you have so i have kept it into in 1x that means slowest the slowest way it is going to run slow step now i am going to run the debug you will see last time the call stack panel was completely blank but this time you will see the call stack panel will have certain values which is coming in and i'm going to talk about those values okay so you can see the values are populating pretty nicely and finally the output has come so what are these values the activities to be executed in the current container okay what are those activities so this went very i mean even though it's a slow step but again we could not literally stop it so i said there are multiple ways to check that you can also use a slow step step into or a breakpoint so this time what i'm going to do i'm going to apply a breakpoint and see that so that will pause for some time and we can literally see that what it is so i will use a breakpoint here in the second sequence and let's run the debug and now let's understand what comes in that call stack okay so uh, the debug has started slow step is enabled breakpoint is enabled over here so exactly at the breakpoint it paused so i can clearly see the sequence so the current activity which is going to be executed that is a sequence and this sequence is inside a container called sequence so if you see on the top we have another sequence right so this is inside this so that is the meaning now let's say i will use a step into so remember do you remember my point i said slow step or even using step into you can see the call stack so let's say let me do a step into so if i do a step into what would happen the assign activity has been highlighted now what do you see it shows you the current activity which is going to be executed that is the point number 2 and it if you double click it generally highlights that now it also tells you which containers it is in so if i double click the second one it is highlighting if you see it is highlighting the sequence if i double click the third one it is going to highlight the this sequence getting it for example now you see if i double click on the third one the sequence is getting highlighted so that is the use of call stack where you can understand where this activity is which container it contains right so th this is this is call stack the other point that you need to understand if there is an error even that is going to be shown in the call stack panel so that gives a quick view to you right where which activity we are in what's happening which container it's in even you can manually check it but this is going to help you when you are into a complex project so now in this call stack i said the fourth point is about exception if any exception comes in your project even that would be shown in the call stack so let me stop this and let me try to generate an exception so how do i generate an exception in this workflow so you can see my array starts from index number 0 1 2 3 and then 4 so what if i say during while it is adding the data what if i say here 5 which is out of range right so it should throw an exception error okay so let me remove the breakpoint which i have applied before so what would happen if there is an error is going to appear so i am creating the error manually right i am knowingly of with intention i am creating an error so it is going to stop it over here and in the call stack panel it should populate so let's have a check so let me quickly so i am removing the slow step also so let me remove the slow step it's off now so let's run it in the debug mode now you will see the call stack it's initially it will be blank exactly at the assign activity point it has shown you the data right and it it is telling you clearly exception thrown do you see it is clearly telling you exception thrown in the assign activity so the call stack panel is generally used for that right just to see what is happening which container you are in which activity is about to be executed so all of this data you can see from the call stack i hope this video must have given you enough knowledge about the call stack and thanks for watching if you liked this video make sure to subscribe for more we are coming up with new videos regularly and all the contents that we bring we feel those kind of a content you may not get outside of our channel so please do subscribe and please get benefited from those videos thank you guys 
we'll meet again in the next video have a great day until then bye bye